When you're solving equations with variables on both sides, you want to work your situation until you have something that looks like this. One variable term, one non-variable term on each side. When you get your equation to that point, and it might start this way, the easiest type of both sides equation already starts this way. Usually, you've got to do a little, do a little work to get it into this format, but when we've got it here, then you're going to want to take one of your variable terms and do the opposite of it. So 3a's minus 3a's, okay, on both sides of the equation. That will effectively get rid of the variable on one side and you'll be left with a two-step equation, which you should be able to complete without any problem. Subtract 25 from both sides, we got negative 40 equals 4a's. Divide by 4 on both sides, we got a equals negative 10. If you want to check your answer for an equation with variables on both sides, it's a little different from checking your answer for other kinds of equations, what you'll need to do is take your answer and insert it into the original on each side separately and just see if, you, see if that makes your sides match. So for example, 3 times negative 10 minus 15, what does that equal? And then check 7 times negative 10 plus 25. What does that equal? Do they match? Is this situation up here balanced when a is negative 10? What could make this more complicated? You can have the same kind of things you would have to do if there are multi-location equations, variables in multiple spots. You have to be able to distribute to get rid of parentheses. So stuff like this, 5c's minus 55 plus 8, and then also combine like terms, 5c's minus 47. So distributing and combining like terms are things that we do on just one side of an equation at a time. Over here, we've got 3c's can combine with 11 C's, so 14 C's plus 7. Can't combine with them. That's working the two sides of your equation separately until they're in that format that I talked about in the beginning. And then after you get them there, it's um, subtract a variable term. So minus 5 C's. negative 47 equals 9 C's plus 7, add 7 to both sides, or subtract 7 from both sides, negative 54 equals 9 C's, C equals, divided by 9 on both sides, negative 6, and again, you could, you could use a calculator, type this in here, 5 parentheses, negative 6 minus 11 parentheses, plus 8 equals negative 77 on the left side, double check the right side, 3 times negative 6 plus 7 plus 11 times negative 6, enter negative 77 on the right side, they match, I know I'm correct. Last thing that could add some complexity to your situation is of course fractions. If you have a fraction, the easiest way to deal with fractions in equations is to multiply by the denominator. If I have some number split into three pieces and I multiply by three, that will cancel with my divide by three and I'll just be left with whatever that number was, whatever the numerator was. 
okay? But if I do this, I'm making a change. I'm making a change to the value here, All right? So in order to actually accomplish this, what I need to do is triple everything, okay? If I triple everything, then I'll maintain this equals balance. So what I mean by everything is each term, each term needs to be tripled. Terms are separated by pluses and minuses that are not inside of parentheses. This on the end here is one big term because the parentheses keep it bound together. Terms are separated by pluses and minuses that are not inside of parentheses. So we have four terms here, two on each side. And I'm going to multiply each term by three. The very first term here we already talked about times three and divide by three cancel out. So I'm left with my numerator. All right, for the second one, three times six is 18 m's. For the third one, three times negative 28 is negative 84. And for the last one, the only thing that I'm going to multiply is my leading two. Don't touch the stuff inside the parentheses yet. So that's dealing with a fraction. And then you're just doing the steps that we've done previously. We're going to distribute. We're going to distribute over here. Keep in mind this when distributing. Minus signs stay with the number that follows them. So when I distribute here, we've got negative 6m's and we've got negative 6 times negative 4 which is positive 24. The minus sign distributes with the six when we're multiplying. Combine like terms, negative 10 m's plus 80 equals negative 60 minus six m's. Use an opposite operation, plus 10 m's, both sides. 80 equals negative 60 plus 4 m's. Add 60 to both sides. 140 equals 4 m's. Divide by 4 on both sides. m equals 35. That is solving equations with variables on both sides.